AI coding done right. Hello guys, today I want to share with you something that I already mentioned a few days ago in a different video. One of the biggest pain points that mm, the majority of people encounter when it comes to AI coding and using complex code bases is the fact that very often the LLM Cloud Sonnet or OpenAI or Deep Sea Coder, whatever you're using, doesn't completely understand the project structure and the whole code base. And then it starts making adjustments in irrelevant places or only in specific places, and it doesn't adjust the whole code base and all the relevant instances. Now, many people have encountered this, uh, this type of challenges. And if you don't have a coding background and you don't know how to debug on your own and troubleshoot on your own, this is a bit of a, becomes a bit of a challenge. So I've encountered a few people who have started talking about how to build an AI coding project in a more efficient or effective manner, to be honest. And one of the things is providing context in a clear way and in a way that makes uh, sense for the LLM that it will be able for it will allow the able the AI or the LLM to pick up the context and adjust and update the context as the project is evolving and I wanted to share with you something that I found in the Cloud Dev Discord channel credit to a guy called Nick Bauman uh, this is still a work in progress, but um, basically what he created over here is a system prompt or a message that you can send to Cloud Dev. And as soon as you send it to Cloud Dev, Cloud Dev is going to create a few markdown files um, with a lot of context about your project. So what is the text stack that you've chosen, the structure of the files, um, the stages or the progress that you're expecting in the project in terms of different sprints etc so let's go over the whole um, system prompt and then i will show you how it works in action it's pretty astonishing so first of all uh, we start with the role playing you are cloud dev a world-class full stack developer a new x ui designer specializing in rapid efficient application development your expertise spans from MVP creation to complex system architecture. You know, this is all the blah, blah, blah stuff. Let's move on. Now, the core principles are efficiency, flexibility, user-centric clarity, and continuous improvement. First of all, it requests um, the LLM or Cloud Dev to assess the project, check for existing current task MD markdown. This is a markdown file which basically updates what is the current task in the project. And then if it exists, you review it and understand the project context, complexity, and current state. If it doesn't exist, you inquire about the desired project complexity, ask questions about the project, and then start creating different files. So current task, the tech stack, completion criteria, roadmap, adaptive instructions, and an error log. Always review the entire project and always ensure all required files are created before proceeding with development. This is the workflow. First of all, planning, then sprint design, then implementation, testing and providing feedback, refinement, progress tracking, and basically we tell it to repeat the cycle until project goals are met. Here are instructions regarding the documentation management. So the expectation from the coding assistant in this case, it's called Cloud Dev, but you can obviously do it with Corsair or Continue or IDE or whatever you prefer. You want to keep on updating these documents. So the first document is the current task. So it's a project overview and complexity level. It contains the current stage and immediate next step. And it uh, contains the recent user feedback and error logs. The, f the second file is the completion criteria which contains the clear and prioritized list of project goals and features then we have the sprint docs so individual documents for each development sprint we include design the design decisions and task breakdowns 
Then we have external instructions which contain detailed step-by-step -step guides for user actions outside the system, for example, database setup. We have adaptive instructions, error log, the tech stack, and why we chose it, and the roadmap, and user instructions, and research. I'm not going to cover everything. I just want to move forward pretty fast because I want to show you the example. Here are a few more guidelines regarding each one of the steps and how to handle different steps. These are some special instructions and for different projects. So if it's an MVP, how to adjust it, how, if it's a complex project, how to adjust it, uh, etc. And this is like a final guidelines and tips, strive for clear communication, etc. I highly recommend that you read this all through because it's pretty interesting to, to see how it was structured. Now, what I want to do next is I want to copy this whole thing and I'm going to paste it in Cloud Dev in a new project. By the way, for those of you who don't know what is Cloud Dev, I definitely recommend checking this out. You can find it on GitHub or over here in the marketplace of Visual Studio Code, Cloud Dev. right over here and you just download it once you download downloaded cloud dev you just add your api in my case i'm using anthropic cloud 3.5 sonnet which is the most powerful coding assistant uh, coding llm at the moment and now i come here to create a new task and i basically just copy and paste the whole thing because in a moment it will start prompting me and asking questions about the project and it will create the files. So check this out. I hope it won't, uh, you know, fail in the moment of truth of creating the live presentation. Okay. So based on the task description and current file structure, it appears that we are starting a new project. We need to create the necessary files and directories for our cloud dev environment. Let's begin by creating the required files in the cloud dev docs directory. First, I'll check if the cloud dev a docs directory exists, and if it doesn't, we will create the following current task, tech stack, completion criteria, roadmap, adaptive instructions, and errors. You will also need to create the following directories. I approve it, it's going to start generating these files. So, this is basically um, generating, I wouldn't say a boilerplate, but it, it it's somewhat of a boilerplate for creating. Um, AI coding assistant projects. So it is making the directory, creating all the directories. Now it starts creating the, it will start creating the files. And here it encounters the fact that I already I already use this directory for an MVP. So it's just it just picks it up instead of creating from scratch. But I actually wanted to show you how it it uh, creates it from scratch. It's actually cool that it did this and showed you that it already it already found a different project of mine because I didn't um, create a new directory. And since it already found a project a recent project of mine using this convention of context. It is already picking up from the moment it, it paused, but I wanna start from scratch, so let's do this again. Let's create a new directory, make dir. See the YouTube demo. Let's try this. because I want to show you how it works from scratch because it's pretty useful. So as you can see, it creates these files. So first of all, it is to, this is how it looks like initially. So project overview to be filled after user input, to be the complexity level to be determined, immediate next steps, 
gathering project requirements and goals, determine project type and complexity, set up initial project structure and documentation. So this was the current task. I think it is overwriting what I created with uh, the to-do list app, but it doesn't matter. It's now going to create the next uh, relevant files. Okay, technology stack to be determined after project requir requirement or, requ or gathered current choices and the rationale for choosing these choices. Then completion criteria, so project goals, features, etc. It is still empty because it is just creating all the, the files, project roadmap, so the milestone, project initiation, next milestone, future milestone, and the timeline. Adaptive instructions, so over here, we can just keep on adding instructions and context for the LLM or the AI coding assistant. So it will follow these instructions. Error log, so we can add errors. We can also ask Cloud Dev or the AI coding assistant to log the errors. It is supposed to log the errors automatically and fill out all these markdown files automatically. But based on my experience, it doesn't do so. So if you encounter anything major or want to make adjustments to the markdown files, you need to specifically prompt Cloud Dev to check out the markdown files, the directory of the Cloud Dev docs. Uh, I find it is working better when I specifically ask it to update or take a look. This is the progress tracker, so overall progress, completed features in progress, upcoming, etc. And sprint documents user instructions, research documents. Okay, now we've created everything and now it will prompt me to give me, to give it more info about the project. So Claude has a question. To begin the project assessment, please provide the following info. What is the desired project complexity, MVP or complex? What are the pro, uh, core project requirements and what type of a project this is? So this is an MVP web app I would like to create a booking app for online coaches let's see I'm just making it up I hope it won't suck I would like to create a booking app for online coaches create a landing page with time and date picking also include a simple form which requests details of the user let's use shard cn for ui next Yes. Not very detailed prompt. I just want to show you how it figures things out and how it starts filling the markdown files based on the data that I have provided. Okay, so let's check it out. So project overview. Creating an MVP booking app for online coaches the app will be a web application with a landing page featuring time and date picking functionality along with a simple form for user details. Complexity level, this is an MVP. Current stage, initial project and uh, setup and planning. Immediate next step, set up the Next.js project with Shad CNUI. Design and implement the landing page. Implement time and date picking functionality. Create a simple form for user details. Set up basic routing and page structure. Okay, current choices, and this is the technology stack markdown. So current choices, Next.js, UI framework, Shad CN UI, backend, just uh, Next.js API routes to be confirmed, and database to be determined, and other tools to be determined, and this is the rationale. Project goals, create a functional MVP booking app for online coaches, implement an intuitive and attractive user interface, provide basic booking functionality. These are the features. 
these are the milestones. So project initiation setup, setup Next.js project, integrate Shad CN UI, landing page development, booking functionality, integration and test and testing, MVP and release, and then the timeline. These are the approximate uh, approximate approximated timeline, total estimated time you have right there. As you can see, it fills out all the files and then we will have all of this available for us and we can just keep on updating. And this is a great context for the LLM in order to adjust and, and just create a better project without getting confused. Let's see what it asks for next. Now, now that we have updated our project documentation, we can pos proceed with setting up the Next.js project and start implementing the MVP. Now it, it just starts to create the project and we will have um, another folder which contains the project and we have the folder of the cloud dev docs which basically we need to make sure that it keeps on being updated like as you can see here and this is going to be the context for the AI coding assistant so it will know where to make adjustments, which files are relevant, what is the tech stack, what are the goals, etc. I have tested this for um, a project that I've built. It, it, was, it wasn't a, a complex project, it was, and it wasn't a simple project, it was somewhere in between. It has worked pretty well. I think it, it uh, helped CloudDev to understand what I'm uh, requiring, what I'm uh, requesting, and how the project is built. I did have to update the files manually or just uh, ask CloudDev to explicitly update the files or explicitly take a look at the files. So I wouldn't say it's 100% there yet and it's a already like a, a fixed solution that is a game changer. It still is a work in progress. Uh, a lot of people are discussing this idea of building context for the LLMs. And this is a very important aspect of, of building products with coding assistance. So this is why I wanted to share it with you guys today. I hope you found this uh, video useful and you enjoyed it. Obviously, if you did, please like and subscribe. If you have any ideas, comments, suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. And until next time, keep on automating.